Welcome back. Let's apply the two rules we just learned: geometric mean theorem. One is altitude. One is leg theorem. Let's look at the first question. We want to find the unknown value x. X is the leg of the big triangle. And hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is four plus five. That is nine. That's a hypotenuse. We're going to use leg theorem because this x is the leg of this right triangle, and I'm going to color five also in color green because five is the segment that is adjacent to this leg. It's the projector of this leg. Therefore, I'm going to establish a relationship. A beautiful proportion says leg, leg. Hypotenuse, the segment, the segment that is adjacent to the leg. Okay, adjacent to the leg. Now I'm going to substitute. Hypotenuse is nine. Leg is x. Make sure you put this x, the leg, on the mean part because it's geometric mean. Then. Segment that is adjacent to the leg that is a five. Now x squared is five times nine, forty-five. Distance positive, so I'm going to take the positive root. Square root forty-five. Square root of forty-five says five times nine. Nine is three squared, which means three can come out and five stays. Okay, all right. That is how we use our first rule, geometric mean leg theorem. Let's see what we're gonna apply to the second problem. We have eighteen that is given to us. That is altitude. The altitude divided the hypotenuse. Let's get a different color into two segments. So we have twelve and y. Now think about the altitude theorem. Says in a right triangle, the altitude from the right angle to the hypotenuse divides the hypotenuse into two segments. In this case, it's twelve and y was divided by uh, the segment eighteen. Okay, it divided by two segments. One is twelve. One is y. Now what can we write? The rule continues. Says the length of the altitude is a geometric mean of the length of the two segments. So we're going to write something look like this: altitude, altitude, segment one, segment two. Okay, and we can start to write altitude. Altitude is a t. Eighteen. You can put a twelve here. You can put a y here. You can also say eighteen and eighteen. You can put a y here. You can put a twelve here, because because you can interchange the extreme and also because who is the segment one, who is the segment two, truly you decide. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and solve all this. So we have a twelve times y is. Eighteen times eighteen. I'm going to erase this part because I'm going to do a little bit work on this script paper. Okay, so twelve. I'm going to rewrite a twelve as two times six and then times y. Eighteen. I have three times、uh, six. That's the first eighteen. The next eighteen. I have a two times nine, and I want to simplify. Okay, so two two. Is gone. Six six is gone. Y equals three times nine. Three times nine. Y is twenty seven. We are done. And、uh, this method, we don't have to multiply this number and then divide it. We can go ahead and cancel it out. Travel light. Okay. All right. That's how we use these two rules to solve the problem. Happy learning.